Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm very excited to finally be reviewing Sunday Riley A Plus Retinoid Serum. If you are new here and you love skincare, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and you can also ring the bell if you would like to be notified every time I upload a new video, which is usually on Wednesdays and Sundays. So if you saw my last video, you will know that it was a vlog, so it's really nice to get back on the usual kind of cycle of videos and put together another skincare review for you guys. So I was really excited when this launched because I think some of you who remember Sunday Riley Luna, that was like a real game changer in the world of like retinol, retinoids. I know it was the first retinol product that I ever used on my face and I think the whole marketing behind it and the way that she mixed it with the blue tansy oil added a little bit of kind of colour to it so it really did have that midnight blue hue to it kind of was just so exciting and I'd never used anything like it before and I know that it got a lot of people to start using a retinol or a retinol product that hadn't been before and kind of discovering the transformative effects that it could have on the skin. So when Sunday Riley launched this one, I was really, really excited because I feel like there's now a kind of influx of brands launching highly strong retinol products. For instance, you've got Drunk Elephant who launched the A Passioni, which is super strong. And I was expecting this to be super strong as well, especially considering it says that it's 6.5, it's a 6.5 retinoid blend. Now this is a powerful potent serum. My skin has definitely adjusted to using retinol or retinoid products so I can definitely tolerate something pretty strong after using the Drunk Elephant and I expected this to be extremely strong. So if you are a newbie to a retinol or retinoid then you will probably find this incredibly strong. However, I find this active and strong but it's not unbearably strong and it doesn't give my skin major irritation or cause major peeling or anything like that if I use this a few times a week. I do find that the 6.5% can be slightly confusing because it gives the illusion that this is so strong that it's stronger than anything else out there. And thank God that it isn't because I wouldn't want anything that strong. Generally, when you're using a retinol or a retinoid, it's like you're looking at 1% and that's like super strong unless you're using some kind of variation that is a lot calmer on the skin. For instance, the ordinary have got the, um, the alternatives that come in like a higher percentage, but they definitely aren't quite as strong when they hit the skin and they don't give that like major irritation. So I was relieved somewhat to see that this isn't crazy crazy strong even though it's a 6.5 percent and what they mean by that is they basically just use various different forms at different percentages so they've got two forms of retinoid in this and then they also kind of use a natural alternative in this as well it's a type of algae that will somewhat mimic the results of retinol um, or a retinoid and what that basically does is it increases the cell turnover in the skin kind of similar to an exfoliating acid but also completely different at the same time because an acid will work on the surface whereas a retinol or a retinoid will work underneath and kind of bring those cells up to the top and that's why it really is important to wear an SPF with this type of product. So this kind of natural form um, has a similar effect. There isn't huge amounts of scientific research behind it. It's definitely not going to be as strong and it's not something that I would personally rely on as my retinol or retinoid but um, as an add-on in there I think that it's nice there's nothing to lose by adding it in there but it's not something that I would go out and purchase on its own as an ingredient in this type of serum. Like another example of like a natural form of vitamin A which is within the retinol retinoid family is rosehip oil that contains you know small amounts of vitamin A which will have that kind of effect on the skin, but just in a level that's barely noticeable, basically. Not something like this where you would definitely kind of notice those 
results on the skin which can be sensitive but it's also glowy skin, reduced wrinkles, increased collagen, that kind of thing. In addition to all of those ingredients it's also got some other skin boosting ingredients such as CoQ10 which is a really nice antioxidant for the skin. It's got some nice nourishing and hydrating botanical extract. It's got a form of cactus I believe in it which would be nice and hydrating on the skin and also nourishing. This has also got honey in it. Now my experience using products with honey in them have generally been very good when it's been used in the right form and at the right percentage in the right formula. If it's a good formula, generally I'm very, very happy with Sunday Riley formulas and I feel that the honey, I'm not sure exactly what it does, but when I look at the formula overall and how it works on my skin, I found that it's been really, really good. So it definitely offers those results that I come to expect from a retinol or retinoid. It's powerful, but not huge amounts of irritation, not peeling as I said before. But the greatest thing about this is it's really helped clear up my skin. Now some of you guys that watch my videos regularly will know that in the last few months since we kind of left winter and went into spring, my skin has just been playing up. It's been out of balance. It's definitely my skin type has changed from dehydrated to it's now definitely oily. It's very warm here and I've been getting breakouts and I haven't been able to pinpoint a specific product or ingredients that's causing my skin to break out. But one thing I will say is that since I've been using this, it definitely, definitely has helped clear up my skin. I'm not sure exactly what it is that's in this that's causing my skin to react so well. I've been using other retinol and retinoid products that haven't necessarily helped my skin in the last few months. So it might not be the retinoids in this, maybe it's the honey, maybe it's the derivative, the natural derivative that they're using in this, I'm not exactly sure. But all I do know is that my skin responds really well to it and it's definitely helped clear it up, which is obviously why I'm reaching for it more often now because yeah, who doesn't want clear skin when their skin is generally being a bit kind of annoyed and out of balance and breaking out like around my cheeks and that kind of thing. Now I want to mention some potentially problematic ingredients that are in this. So if you're thinking of buying it, then you should probably know what these are because they might not work for you. Okay, so the first one is alcohol dennet. Now, I used to be really against drying alcohols in formulas when I reviewed the um, Alpha H Liquid Gold, which I'll link up above. I found that that was in the formula after I started using it, and I would never have started using it if I knew that it had alcohol dennet in there. However, I've come to trust certain brands as you know, my experience using products has kind of moved forwards. I now know that sometimes brands put ingredients like this in the formula for a reason. It will help, it will work with other ingredients and it won't necessarily dry out your skin in a well-balanced formula. I can definitely tell you that this definitely does not dry out my skin, um, but it will put some of you guys off or if you kind of your skin doesn't react particularly well to that, then it's worth knowing that it's in there. But in addition to the alcohol dennet, it's also got some fatty moisturizing alcohols in there as well. And the alcohol dennet is very low down on the uh, inky list, which means that there's only a small amount of it in there. Like most of Sunday Riley products, this has also got dimethicone in. Now I love the um, smooth, creamy, glidable consistency of Sunday Riley's products. And I think that it's the dimethicone that she uses kind of throughout the range that really does kind of create that lovely finish on the skin. Now I know that dimethicone, which is a silicone, can cause some people to break out. So if that is an issue for you, then it's worth mentioning that that is in there. But um, it's in all of Sunday Riley's products. Another one that is potentially problematic for a lot of people and can cause people to break out is shea butter, which this has got in it. Shea butter, when it's used at high quantities, if it's in like a thicker cream or something like that, can definitely cause me to break out as well but this hasn't caused me to break out. As I've already said, it actually has the opposite effect on my skin and my skin 
yeah, has been clear from it. So that hasn't caused any problems for me. But I know that that is a real kind of issue for a lot of people um, that have acne or breakouts. So it's worth bearing that in mind. So the last thing I want to talk about in this is the consistency. I really love that it has this thin liquidy consistency. I'm actually going to pop a clip in from the skincare routine that I did the other day using this. You'll be able to see the texture of it, how it goes onto the skin. And it's quite um, thin and runny, but not too watery. And what that means is that a pump of it is plenty and it will glide all across your face evenly with a nice thin layer that isn't too heavy or greasy but it means that you can be sure that you've applied it evenly all over your skin whereas if you're working with more of a thick cream such as like a tretinoin or a retin-a then um, it can be difficult because you only want to use a very very small amount of it and then you don't want to use too much of it and it can be difficult to use such a small amount like a pea-sized amount and be confident that you're going to apply evenly all over your skin. You don't have that issue with this one and I think that that's a really good upside to the product. Obviously Sunday Riley products are pricey. Anyone that's used them before or seen them will be aware of this. It just depends on your skincare budget and what you're willing to pay on products. The formulas are always well-rounded. The packaging is just gorgeous and the products really, really work. Obviously, you don't always have to spend this much money to get a serum that will work for your particular skin type or your skin needs, but they are always really, really nice products generally. Not everything has worked for me from Sunday Riley, but this is definitely a great product that's helped clear up my skin, has the effects that I would come to expect from a retinol or a retinoid serum, and it just... Yeah, it works really well for my skin and I'm enjoying using it. I've only been using it for about a month, so I would say that this is still just a first impressions. So I will either come back to you three months in or when I finish the product and give you my final thoughts and let you know if it's something that I would be willing to use again. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm sorry if there's some background noise. I'm basically staying at a friend's place at the moment. So this is, the camera's like plonked on the window and I know there's noise outside and other things going on, but hopefully it didn't disturb you too much and you were able to get all the information that you needed. If you've got any questions, any points that I've missed, let me know in the comments below. Or if you've used this product yourself and you want to let me know what you think of it, then I would love to know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.